democracy allows for fair hearing. This is reckless. This is ungodly. When news break, we engage experts in critical analysis. Do you see your party coming into power come 2019? This administration will succeed and succeed well. You cannot be running a four-year term like you are running a 20-year term. He has done fairly well, especially where his children are Then it gets controversial. They have a right to their opinion. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, just hold on. I am about principle and I am about fuck. Now, you see, let me, all right? Let me, let me say this. So now, so yes, we free. We should also ask for justification. Call Digest, your number one program for current issues. Welcome back on the program. Well, this morning we'll be talking concerning Dapchi school girls uh, that are missing at the moment. Well, uh, we hope that uh, those girls are found and are brought back alive. I still have with me in the studio a legal practitioner uh, and human rights advocate, uh, Justice Uwe Bume. Thanks for well, staying here. Thank you. It is my pleasure once on the program. Uh, this issue is indeed very worrisome, uh, talking about uh, the missing. Uh, school girls, what do you think of this one? Well, it's actually so unfortunate in as much as um, I sympathize with the, with the girls, parents, the state, and in general, <coughs> Nigerians. Because um, there is this saying in my place that when you see a chicken scattering feces, you should pursue it because nobody knows who will be the leg. I think uh, the water has gotten to a level that uh, Nigerians are now between the lines. We don't know what to do again. <clears throat> but what keeps baffles me is this. I thought, I felt, and I had everywhere, in the newspaper, television, radio, when this government said they have defeated Boko Haram technically. And some people we are talking, giving kudos and all this. So, is this Boko Haram or Fulani Hesman or another name? Maybe they should have looked for another name to give it instead of Boko Haram. Technically, not totally. I know what I'm technically. What does it mean? Technically, not yeah, totally. Can you define technically? You, you resist. You no, 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 no. Yes, now because it is what I mean. What I've been trading on the media. Even the the the, the minister for information said it. When you say something is technical, you know what it means. What it means is almost absolute. But they, they are, are also <laughs> affirmed that there are pockets of uh, some of uh, these people moving from one area to you know, another. You know, the, the, that they are the, out of it's, Sambisa it's, it's, Forest. You see, the, the truth is, is, if they are out of Sambisa Forest, did they tell Nigerians where they are? So where did they operate from now? Maybe another forest. Outside Zambia, uh, is it Zambia or what people call it? I don't even know. The, you see, the, the, the issue there is this. Why can't we come together as a nation and forget politics and leave politics and fix realities and find out what to do for this country? Let me tell you. One of the best ways to get a good government in anywhere is what to call unitary government. You can't do it all. I keep on saying this. If actually your aim and your intention is to give leadership to the people, it does not matter who and who that you call to come and do the job. It's not a party thing. It's not a personal thing. It's not supposed to be a cabal thing. It's not supposed to be a family thing. But you, you know, this administration uh, gave it all to even uh, when the president made mention that I can work with uh, everybody. I don't have any person I want, I want, I want to work Is with. Is it working that way? If it's not working that way, we have uh, the deputy president of the Senate from another political party. Which, 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 which the executive has not been part of. And if you remember, it, it, it raised a lot of dust. Well, what a minute, what a minute, what a minute. If I'm you don't know, what, I am telling you now, okay. if you don't know, that issue raised a lot of dust. And that was one of the reasons why the executive in the first place even started having issues and squabble with the, with the legislative arm. 
I'm coming from the assertion you made that one well, you should try to work with everyone. The executive has nothing to do with the, the, the legislature. They are a different arm of government. And let me tell you the truth. What the legislature did in this dispensation is what I, I call democracy in, 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 in focus or in work. Participate. I call this era participatory democracy and participatory government. Unfortunately, the government are not seeing this. Ojukuro Tebu, because I'm involved. We are all involved, directly or indirectly. So it, let me tell you, if not for the fact that the constitution as it is today, Simplicita, provides that for you to run for any elective position, you must belong to a political party. That is the, the reason for a political party. I don't know whether you understand me. So we, 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 we should look at it beyond that. We should look at it that is a matter of, you know, democracy and the people. Party politics has killed us in this country and it's still killing us. That's what I'm trying to say. Let us deviate a little from that. And that was why I keep on reading meaning into what Lord Denning said in the case of Parker versus Parker, where he said, that until we start doing what we have not done before, we will remain stand still while the rest of the world moves on. Can we? All these things we have practiced for a very long time. It has not been working. Rather, it has been doing us more harm than good. Can't we leave it and look for other ways? Is that why we're having people? challenges yes. with the security? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because we are. Yeah, because we're still playing party politics. You want to tell me that, for example, in my state now, where the governor is from APC, there's no other credible person to be in the executive arm, bring it back to to to, to the country, to the federal idea. You see, I keep on saying something. If, for example, me, you, Emma, and two other people contest for I, I don't see a link with what you're saying at the moment, having uh, the correlation of uh, the executive bringing in everyone to work and the issue of security. This is a security issue. Why I said it? Uh, that, that, that why I said it now. You know, remember what brought about it? It's, I said, if you remember, that this issue that I thought, they said they have defeated Boko Haram technically. And you said something, I said, no, because we are still playing politics with it. That must we play politics with everything. And let me tell you one thing. That's why I said again. In the security apparatus today, you now ask yourself a question. Who are the people that are making or that makes up the security apparatus of the country today? Now look at what a correctional police said. Why would such person make such a comment? Because he believes or he sees it that the federal government is in support of you know, open uh, open, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, cattle grazing. He doesn't want to go against that. I, I've seen many administration come no, I've no, seen many no, no, understand, understand what I'm trying to say. You know, you know, there's something you said. I'm trying to link it. I've seen, I'm linking it to what I've to, to the comment you made. Many, so he's, he's he doesn't want to injure the feelings of the executive just a moment, because of party politics. Justice, when you're bringing in politics into security, there's always danger, and that is what is killing us. I've seen many administration come and pass, and we've had many of them having. Well, if you're saying the security apparatus is belonging to one side, well, I've seen many some administrations too have come in this country having security apparatus into a particular region. Like which administration? You, do, you, want, you want me to? Are you not? No, part, no, 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 part no, of this? No. Are you not part of this? No, I am. Because I, I, this, I've told you the one. Listen to me now. I've told you the one I know. Okay. Then which I, one I don't want, are you saying? That's why I don't want us to put in the issue no, 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 of that, politics. No, no, excuse me. Excuse into me. security. It, it might, it might be, yes. In as much as that, that is why we are here. Mm. That is why we are here, and we are here to express our views, our opinion, and also to educate people. People are going to contribute. Mm. What I'm trying to say here is this. We are having security challenges because we are playing politics with it, whether you like it or not. And you know the truth. You know. Let us stop all this pretense. And that's why I said, until we get a governor or a president or somebody who will live above board 
I say I want to face this squarely. Well, well if you say I know, well, I, I don't know if we are indeed, uh, if, if the country is indeed uh, playing politics with the issue of insecurity. This is human lives that we are talking here. We're having disparity in figures. The governor is saying it is 84. The parents are saying it is 105. So where, where is the disconnection? You know, you keep on bringing issues that to to even indict your your assertion. Where 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 is the is the is the difference coming from? If the parents are saying, look at the number, and the governor is saying, no, this is the number, we've not heard from the commission of police, so we've not heard from the security chiefs, and that is what we are saying. Must we play politics with everything? Don't you? We are talking about human lives here. Don't you think this is time for everyone to come together? and uh, fight uh, this yes. war and we stop saying well is this administration's totally, fault is that i totally fault? agree with you but one thing first we must first of all ascertain the truth and tell ourselves the truth and discover if we actually have what i call what i keep on saying sincerity of purpose remember it has been my word sincerity of words purpose if not we are deceiving ourselves. Nobody should be happy. We are all not. We are all not happy with what is happening. And I know you are not happy. Likewise, me. And let me tell you, if you don't discover a problem, you can't solve it. You discover a problem, work on the problem, and you not talk about solution. You can't be talking about solution, solution, solution when the problem is there. And you don't want to discover the problem or you have discovered the problem and you're overlooking it and looking for solution it cannot work we only deceive ourselves as if we're doing something and we're not doing anything something should not continue that is what we're saying the president of arms and, and if you remember okay. if you the remember he, he, what i mean if you remember that is why the clamor for state policing is gaining ground now which was affirmed by the vice president. That's what I'm trying okay. to say. The, the president affirms that uh, he is indeed a commensurate with the families of those people and tagging this as a national uh, disaster uh, at, at the moment. Uh, what do you th see the, the federal government should put in more to ensure that those girls are Yeah, reduced? you see, the federal government is right. The president is right by saying it's a national, it's a national embarrassment, not even disaster, apart from disaster. Is the Fulani Hesman not a national disaster and embarrassment up to today? Which one do we talk and leave the other? Which one are we even facing now? The question now is this, what is the way forward? For now, look at it very well. It seems everything is gradually dousing down because of 20 preparation for 2019 elections. Going down in what sense? Yes, this issue of security, this issue of certain things, economy, economic stability, infrastructure, and all the rest. Nobody seems to be talking all these things now. Nah, if you remember what has been trending in a few weeks now, it's all about crisis here, crisis there, 2019, will this person contest, will this person come back, this person is defecting from this political party to this, and all, and Nigerians are suffering. But that's normal. In, Ni Nigeria, don't you see that as normal Nigeria's in every... Uh, political settings no, 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 when election is coming i know everyone just to, to get you, down you see let me tell you ma let me give you an example one in this illustration you walk to attract attention and not to force attention let me repeat you walk to attract attention and not to force attention there are certain things you will do as a leader you attract attention. You don't force attention from people. It's all like in my state. For example, in most state, where every junction you go, every mile is too much. Every pole you go, you see the billboard and the picture of the governor on one thing or the other. He is trying to attract attention, attention to, to command or force attention and not to attract attention. Big boss will not work for you. Advers will not work for you. Unfortunately, I asked you a question last time. Do we? I don't even know whether we have the presence of media in Imo State. For the, I'm just using Imo State now as a case study. 
Because if you go to Imo State as it is today, everything you see in Imo State, in, we call it AIT, call it channels, or I, I'm mentioning names because I want to challenge them. It's all about programs of the government. You don't see the ones coming from the people. The feelers of the people, nobody is talking about it. Who are the people actually that power belongs to? But the point I'm trying to make is this. Those things are not necessary. If you were in the president's shoe, what would you do right to nip in about this Boko Haram menace in the country? It's a simple thing to me somehow. Do you say it's, do you say it's, a, sim do you say it's a simple I, thing? Yes, I say it's simple to me one way. Talk in, as much as, in as much as not too simple. <laughs> okay. All I need to do is to, is to call all the security apparatus, both government and individuals. We have Nigerians, both in diaspora, that are experts on security. We can fish them out and call them. Have a, have a secret meeting with them. Let me tell you one thing. These people, they live with us. They live amongst us. We know them. They know we. If, if we really want to do this. You, 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 you know a member of if, you know listen, Boko Haram. If we really want to do the surveillance. You, no, you, understand. Do you know? Understand me. I okay. said if we really want to do a surveillance operation, we can fish them out. That's why I said they live among They are not living on air, Jupiter, or Mars, or Venus. Okay, Justice, that, just, you, you're continuing with your line of thought, but uh, let's open the phone lines uh, at the moment uh, to get the pulse of Nigerians on uh, what we are looking at at the moment, uh, talking about uh, the Dapchi uh, school girls that are missing. Let's get your comments uh, as plain as possible. Do not attack any personality. Ensure uh, you keep it as uh, well objective as possible so that we can have that smooth communication on the program on Call Digest Extra. Uh, this uh, beautiful Saturday uh, morning, and that's the number there on the screen. Just as back to the line of thoughts, uh, talking about way out of all this. If you're in the shoes of the president, tell us more. Yeah, like I've, like I've said, there are so many security, uh, independent security personnel in Nigeria and outside the country that are Nigerians that we can actually bring in, sit down, and discuss for a way forward. What do we do? Because you see, when something seems, because let me put it this way, maybe it seems, um, it seems the security approaches of the government are being or have been defeated somehow. Let me put it that way. I don't want to believe that. In but what, you see, in what sense? Yeah, but you see, you just can, a moment. We have a caller. Peter is calling us from Taraba. Many thanks for joining us, Peter. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Peter. Yeah. Uh, Emmanuel, well, well, what I want to chip in is just, uh, just the question I ask your, your guest. If he, if he were to be the president, what would he do? So for the, for the uh, side of Boko Haram, well, what I would do is to stick with my people, the village heads and the rest, because in terms of all these boys, they do come to town. Mostly in the state, but if the people don't give information, with fear that if they give their family to the White House. And secondly, for full and investment issue, me being a full and investment of all the media uh, executives, me and them, no, no media, no, me, just me and them, the executives of media, like, based on the, 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 the speeches that they make at times, I'll call them, me and them, just say, a family just me and then no media, nobody will discuss it. They will tell me what is going on. If they, they have hands in what is going on, they will tell me. And uh, that's at least that if the president wants to know, he will know. So they won't allow anybody to deal with them. They will discuss it and they will open up and tell him everything they know about the plan. He will know the way forward. That's okay. If I'm the president, that's what I feel I will do. Okay. Right now, at this point in time. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Mm -hmm. From yeah, Taraba. You know, I was trying to say something like that, that we, we live, these people live amongst us, they live among the society. They're not living on the thin air, the Jupiter, the Mars, or anything. If all these surveillance units, uh, what do you call it, um, what do you call this local security? The, the vigilantes. The vigilantes will be empowered and be made to know or guarantee that any information you dish out will not be used against you. Then again, you invite Nigerians that are security experts. We have Nigerians that are security experts. 
that can actually contribute to one or two things. And th these things will stop. But like we keep on saying, there was a place I went to give a, a, a speech. I was asking them, is, is police actually your friend? I, I asked a broad question and people started responding. So thank God the criminal police or that thing was there. Why? Because when you give information at times, you become the first suspect. People are afraid. When you give information of something now, you people, you, you know, you become the first suspect. Now you now ask a question. Where are the DSS? Where are the surveillance and intelligence units of the Nigerian police, the Nigerian army, the Navy, and all the rights? That's why I say these people, they live in Nigeria. They live here. Even if they live, they stay outside the country, like neighboring countries and all the rest. We have the borders. We have the border patrol. We have the immigration, the customs, the police. They are all there. You can partner with all these, our neighboring countries. Before, you see, before an attack is carried out, there must be a meeting. Or a phone calls. But why is it that uh, at the moment uh, we're still, we still battling with uh, this issue of Boko Haram uh, insurgency uh, in the country? If you recall, uh, on, in, on the 13th and 14th of April 2014, we had about 200 girls um, missing from uh, Chibok. And now, a year to the general election, that was in 2014 to the 2015 general election. And now, a year to the 2019 general election, Another uh, missing girl. You missing girls. So you give your comment on this. Let's quickly join Abdul from Kano. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Hello, Abdul. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Go on with the comments. Yes, I want to come. Yes, you are saying. My guest. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, my brother. Ah, uh, he said. To consult the menace of Boko Haram and his security is very simple. I, I come to wonder, um, we have three presidents who have today. We have Azura doing his general, the Boko Haram is here, and Jonathan Boko Haram is here, and now we have the, uh, the German president. And each and every one of them fight bring to the end of this. Um, Boko Haram issue, but still, things should be working from the security apparatus. I want to ask, if he is in the position, what is he going to do to bring the issue drastically down? Because in this hunger now, the media, the media from the presidency has stopped broadcasting what is happening over there because they don't want this to be used against them as it was used formerly. Now, what is, is going to be his own um, issue on the, the matter of that? Okay, I, I think he has answered it earlier, but many thanks, Abdul from uh, Kano. Yeah, yeah, so, maybe, go, like, well, maybe he didn't hear you when you were making all that assertion, talking about uh, calling all security apparatus in the country and also with uh, private... Especially independent private, security. Yeah, private, private and independent security. Private and independent security. Well, well, in private fact, if, if, you go, if you go outside the country, you discover that it's mostly independent and private security that usually not, you know, criminals. Because there's nowhere you go. There's no setting you go. You don't have, you know, private securities around. And again, again, like Adolfo Hitler said, he said all German citizens are trying to be soldiers. Again, every citizen outside the shores of this country is trying to be, to have security knowledge. When certain things want to happen, they sense it. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They may call immediately. And you see the security agents. Now, not only the security agents. You see private security personnel and others coming. Okay. To the Let's go back to that conspiracy theory I was bringing on earlier before we had that call. 2014, 2018. Where exactly are we going? What exactly? Yeah, I think uh, if I may take it up this way, we should first of all ask ourselves a question How did we get here in the first place? Why Boko Haram? In as much as, in all honesty, Nigeria is not the only country where there is a certain thing. It's almost everywhere. But it, it also boils down to what I said earlier. I am also seeing or looking at it as being political. 
abomination. Because just a moment, we have a caller from Yobe Dagora. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Okay. Good morning. Yeah. Yes. Good morning, sirs. Good morning. Yeah. Um, actually, I have something to say concerning this issue of abduction of these girls and this Boko Haram issue. Okay. I'm living here in Yobe, though I'm from Bauchi State, but I live in Potiskum, and my, sis my wife's uh, sisters were part of the girls that were in this very school that uh, this thing happened in Dabchi, and mm. I went there to pick them. But I come to discover that government and politicians, they are politicizing this issue too much. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I was together with someone that came from NTA, you know, okay. The, this NTA, they refuse him access to the school to enter, to even take whatever that you want. I, I was asking him, and he was bitterly complaining. We were outside waiting with our car to pick our sisters. And they, he was complaining that they refused him access to the school. I said, why? So I come to discover that they are politicizing this. Look at the argument they were having between the, 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 the two senators. The senator uh, the, in the Senate, the, the, the senator of this, uh, that is of uh, the Yobe Zone D and the other one in Zone C, the former governor, Bukaraba. Look at, he was supporting the government, and this other person was saying that government has done nothing. So everybody, when, when you are taking the life of people and you are, you are, you are dealing with it, you know, as if it is a personal issue, you are supporting somebody even if he has not done something very well. Hmm. You are, you, you know, you are, you are, you are toiling with people's lives. It's not correct. When okay. we talk about this issue, I had a friend there that was a, he, he is a mobile a police, and I was asking him what actually happened. Where were they about this issue? And I, he was saying this, uh, you know, they could not even do anything as a, as a mobile police because the type of gun that these people were carrying and they were shooting sporadically in the air, they, can, they could not do anything. Hmm. Let us stop playing with people's lives if we are dealing with the life of people. Let's just face reality. Government should do their best and see that they do this. But if this one will say, I'm supporting the government because they are doing this, while the reality is, is there, I don't think this thing is going to work for us like this. So let's stop politicizing okay. this Dogara. when it has to do with life. Dogara. Yes, sir. Are, are your girls with you now? Sir? Are your girls with you now? Yes, yes. Okay, they are now part of those who were missing. Yes, my mm. sisters. I was able to pick them, but one of our sister that was there, that stayed in, that they live in Budapchidia, she, we are not able to find her after today. Up to, up to now, okay. She's part of the, uh, those ones missing. Yes. Okay. Very, very yes. pathetic. So we cannot mm. conclude that the Boko Haram have picked them, but because some of them ran into the bush, even the one I went to pick, they ran into the bush and mm. were able to bring them. Uh, they, they came back later. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dugara. Well, that's a very uh, a good study of someone that experienced you see, uh, this issue. You see, when you have not been involved, you may not understand. There is this saying in my area that um, when they carry another person's corpse, to you it will look as if it's a piece of wood mm. until it happens to you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what. So what can say this because the girls are with him. No, he said one. But he said one, the other they've not they've, located they've that. Not located so down. you cannot see the trauma, even the one they picked went through because he said they ran into the bush you see whenever something happens try to factor yourself in the shoe and see how you yourself will feel it's unfortunate i keep on crying for this country and i he said something he said most people play politics with everything i said it earlier and you were like trying to disagree with me it's politics that is keeping us where we are today 
please for Christ's sake. I am begging. Even yeah. the uh, you made mention the of the Iman, mobile the Iman, mobile the mobile yeah, for this their, their hands are tight. That he said it, it, they don't have yes. enough the equipment Iman, let me tell you, we are to human, tackle this. We are human beings, we are not stones for Christ's sake. Why it is you know I said something earlier. It's not affecting them because their children are not involved. Their families are not here. They can't, the, the Boko Haram or whatever name you call them or Fulani Hesbun cannot even go close to their families or or, or their domain because of the, the, the kind of sophisticated security apparatus surrounding them. But if you have security, do you have God? That is the thing. Because my happiness is that God is all. One day, if God decides, in the midst of all those security that are surrounding you, God will come and take you. And you still die. So what have you achieved? Can't you please, for the sake of this country, and the blood flowing in our veins and bodies, to note that we are human beings. These people deserve a life. At least try your best. To give protection have you asked yourself the reason why the constitution implicit said that the main aim of government is for what welfare and security of the citizens these two things but then you see uh, well i've had some guests on this uh, on the program even on called are just uh, saying that uh, if we keep having uh, security personnel moving with uh, the vips we should reduce them at this time so that we can have uh total policing in all these uh, government schools and even private uh, individuals, uh, in all these private schools, so, we should, so that we can protect the life of our children. Because when you did we even learn any lesson from that of Chibok at the moment that we are having uh, this one in Dapchi? Ibrahim is calling us from Lagos. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Good morning, Ibrahim. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Ibrahim Seyed from Lagos, coming from Lagos. Thank you very much for joining us. Go on. Yeah. Um, uh, it's very sad, you know, the issue uh, going on around this, uh, this moment in Yubi, you know. Uh, it's very sad. Like my brother said, when something doesn't happen to you, you think maybe it's a joke until it's happened to you. Or someone next to you before you start to know the radio. You know, when the first set of uh, girls, first they go that were that was, that was missing them, you know, some people are saying it's a propaganda, you know, it's a drama, you know. So, what we Hello, Ibrahim, are you there? Okay, many thanks for calling us, Ibrahim from Lagos. We just have to go now. Uh, so that we can take is, is all the, your passing you. shows um, on the program this morning. I don't know. Today, I think, um, what do we do? What do we do? How do we go out from here? Uh, if you can recall that um, Peace Corps was established and uh, the confirmation tried to pass force a second reading, I learned and I was made to understand that um, it didn't scale through. So oh, I think this is the time the government, as well the House of the, the National Assembly, should give uh, more priorities to 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 to, to private security outfits. But uh, if we, if we want to drag this, uh, but we have to go now. If our police personnel are not well equipped, do you think or think that uh, this vigilante no, will no, no, to no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Let me, see, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell this you. This insurgents. No, we're not talking about police here. We are talking about surveillance unit. Let me tell you, it, prevention they say is better than cure. If we can have more surveillance units around, mm. you know, vigilantes and some of these groups like Peace Corps, the vigilante group of Nigeria and all the rest, we empower them. What we need more is information, locations, or plans before they act. I don't know whether you understand me. Because, it, it, like I said before, it, 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 there must be a meeting. There must be a situation where there must be gathering. Okay. Before they take Justice Uwebu, I must say many thanks for coming on thank the program. You, thank you, Keep thank on you. going. We'll keep digging deep 
uh, dig deep. And even some people advocated that, well, uh, we should reduce the uh, number of policemen going no, with VIPs. We should. In we fact, should uh, start uh, guarding uh, Let me tell you, uh, no, uh, our schools. No, no person should be meant to go with more than one police officer. But we have some going with... That's what I'm saying, because... Four, you, five, you, six, you, seven... More than 10, 20... You are not telling us that your life is more is more important than the lives of every other Nigerian. Justice Uwe Bonigo, practitioner, human rights activist, many thanks for coming on the program. Thank this you. Morning. This is Saturday morning. We hope Thank that these girls will brought back alive. I, I, I hope so. I hope so, mm. because I'm feeling, I'm feeling it so much. We'll take a break uh, now, and uh, when we come back, we were taking... Uh, the extra part of uh, the program this morning. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back.